What really lights you up? Because sometimes we forget. I know I have. Sometimes we don't remember what it is. We're living someone else's dream. We're trying to be significant or trying to, you know, play the role. With all the opportunities that exist today, why haven't you reached your next level of income, life, and wealth? In most cases, we've been lied to. We've been told that if you find the right opportunity and you work hard, you can be successful. And that's simply not true. Millionaires, billionaires, and successful people have realized you need the foundation for wealth, the habits. And that's exactly what you'll be learning on the Millionaire Success Habits Podcast. All success starts here. So is FOMO, the fear of missing out, a positive thing or a negative thing? Hey, it's Dean Graz, the OC. So excited to have you here at the Millionaire Success Habits Podcast, where we go upstream and create the foundation for sustainable success, not just a flash in a pan or not just some magic money machine. How's that worked out for you in the past? This is the place where you get the concrete, ironclad habits and success hacks that can create long-term wealth, abundance, happiness in your life. And today I wanna to talk about FOMO, fear of missing out. Listen, FOMO, that F-O-M-O-O, -O, F-O-M-O, -O, fear of missing out, is kind of hip, it's kind of trendy. I watched my 12-year-old daughter text that to a friend the other day. I have FOMO, but let's really think about that. FOMO has been around since the beginning of time. It's just a lot easier now with, with today and social media. But here's where I think it's a negative. Social media is amazing. Having access to each other is amazing. I get to talk to you on my podcast. Maybe you're watching me on YouTube or, or watching this short little clip on Instagram. I'm not sure, but that's amazing because we get access to people. But simultaneously, it also can rob from you because every time you look at someone else with a perfect stomach and chiseled abs or the perfect skin or perfect hair, perfect relationship, perfect car, on the perfect boat, in the perfect plane, in the perfect house, the perfect husband or the perfect wife, sometimes that makes you feel the, 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 the feeling of FOMO, fear of missing out. I'm missing out on what they have. It creates envy, creates jealousy. And though it can be very powerful, a lot of times it can be crippling. I'll never get to a private jet. I'll never live in a house that big. I'll never have a husband that hot or a woman that loving or abs that chiseled or hair that full. And we live in FOMO and we don't obsess on our own unique abilities, our own traits. But here's the craziest thing why I wanna talk about this is a lot of times the things that we have a fear of missing out on aren't really who we are at our core. You see, let me tell you, we evolve in life, hands down. But I have to tell you, I always worked hard. Started making money in my teens, uh, you know, was crushing it in my 20s, even though I started with nothing. And I used to have this fear of missing out on like going to high-end parties. I'm like, man, I'm just a machine shop guy, a collision shop guy, I work on cars, I work on houses, drive a tow truck, and I have a little money, I should be at those fancy parties. I should go to the fancy nightclubs. I should buy the bottle service and, and, and look like a, I'm significant. And then when I got past that and I started the information business and my real estate business started to boom and I became a millionaire and a multimillionaire, then I thought, man, I should dress a certain way because look at the way that person dressed. He looks classy in the pocket handkerchief. And, and, and I, I, I look back in my life and I went to nightclubs and stayed up super late and partied. Yes, I had fun, but I had a fear of missing out on something that really wasn't what I desired because at this phase of my life, I realized that I was putting on a show sometimes and I didn't even realize it. I had a fear of missing out because I thought that's what you're supposed to do. Listen, I was just in Vegas a couple days ago. I had a great couple of days, spoke on stage with my buddy Tony Robbins and then him and I had a whole bunch of videos to shoot for a new training, that our new course we're doing. Oh my God, it's gonna rock the world in April. Be on the lookout for it. It's gonna change the way uh, people look at self-education. Long story short, I'm in Vegas, I'm at the Wynn, or at the Encore, I'm staying in a great room, I'm there with my girlfriend, having an amazing time, and I realized the difference, it was like a, an epiphany, the difference of how I used to feel, fear of missing out, FOMO, compared to now. So, my new FOMO is if I don't go to bed early enough, I can't get up at 4.50 and go work out and feel amazing for the day. I literally have fear of missing out on going to bed early and getting up and crushing it I literally, we, we got up at like 4.45, we went down to the gym, people are just coming home. And I remember being in Vegas, seems like a million years ago, but it wasn't that long ago, maybe 10 years ago, 
And at 4.45, I was probably going to my room feeling like crap, gonna go up in the room. Like, yeah, I looked significant. I went to the best restaurant, went to the best club, had the best people around me, drank the best bottles. And I came home and went to bed and felt like shit the next day and probably wasn't as productive as I want, beat myself up. But I had a fear of missing out on something that I had the perception I liked. I didn't really like it. What I love now is feeling incredible, feeling alive, not being hung over or not being tired or not feeling stupid for spending too much money. I have fear of missing out on feeling amazing. So my brain is on fire so I can get into flow state, so I can make an impact on you, make an impact on the world. So this Millionaire Success Habits podcast is simply here to give you a reminder to check and look internally. What are your values? What do you stand for? What really makes sense for you? Not to try to prove something to your ex or prove something to your parents or prove something to the people you went to school with or prove something to your classmates or, 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 or do something that shows great on Instagram but you're not really having a good time. There's so many people I know to go to events just so they can take the picture, just so they can say, I was at this ball, I was at this event, I was doing this, and they're having a shitty time. I'm in a space in my life, I have FOMO only for the things that I know I love. I have fear of missing out on baseball games. I have fear of missing out on softball games. I have fear of missing out on not picking my kids up two or three days for a week from school. I have fear of missing out on a great dinner with my girlfriend. I have fear of missing out of, of going and exercising and feeling like I'm in the best shape of my life. I have fear of missing out of not growing, going to masterminds, expanding my knowledge, meeting with friends who I adore. I, that's what I have a fear of missing out on. I'm betting to say, that those always lived inside me. It's always what my values would be, but I got lost. I got lost of miss it, feel like I was missing out on stuff that was someone else's fantasy, someone else's dream, someone else's desire. So I'm gonna ask you this week to really dig deep into your soul. What really lights you up? Because sometimes we forget, I know I have, Sometimes we don't remember what it is. We're living someone else's dream. We're trying to be significant or trying to, you know, play the role. I get it. We go through all these phases. But what if you stopped going through phases? You identified who you are, what you want, and you only had fear of missing out on the things that lit you up. Let everybody else do what they want. You do what makes the most sense for you. Guys, this is so much fun doing these Millionaire Success Habits podcasts week after week. I hope you're watching. Listen, it doesn't grow unless you share. It doesn't grow unless you tell friends. It doesn't grow unless you comment. It doesn't grow unless you like it. If you love what I do, you love what I provide, you feel other people need it, then do that. Get the message out. Get the word out because I don't do these just for my own health. Now, I do love doing this because it anchors in everything I'm sharing into my own soul, but I do it because I want to make an impact and I need your help. Have an amazing, amazing week. If you haven't already, go take the Better Life Challenge. Yes, thebetterlife.com. It's a 30-day challenge. It's free. And plus, I'm giving away my Tesla. Yes, I am. And one of you are going to get it. So you might as well go take the challenge. All right. Have an amazing, amazing week. Listen, if you like the video, make sure you click subscribe right now so you never miss an episode. And while you're there, click the notification bell so you'll know when the next one goes live. You can always follow us on Instagram. And if you don't already have millionaire success habits, you can grab it for free at deansfreebook.com. Remember, all success starts here.